Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm High Voice. We begin by launching WinDebug. I'm using the preview version for Windows 10, but any version will suffice for this tutorial. A link to download WinDebug will be provided below. Proceed to open the memory dump. In some versions of WinDebug, the analysis will begin automatically. Let me clear the screen and start again with the steps of how to begin analyzing. The first step is to ensure that symbols will load. There are two set of symbols that are required, which are the Microsoft symbols and the symbols for the application. The commands to configure symbols are SimPath and SimFix. To configure Microsoft symbols, run SimFix which automatically sets the URL to the Microsoft Symbol Server. The full syntax for SimPath and SimFix will be discussed in a later video as it is quite verbose. For now, we just use SimFix. The symbol for the application is automatically loaded if the PDB file is in the same folder as the memory dump. We will use this by placing the PDB in the same folder as the dump file. Once WinDebug is ready, enter analyze-v to start the analysis. Prefix the command with the bang symbol. The bang symbol is used because analyze is a plugin command. More details on plugin commands is provided in the links below. Wait whilst WinDebug is processing. At this point, it's going to load symbols. It can be slow as each symbol is downloaded synchronously. Symbols are cached on disk, so it does get faster with each subsequent usage of WinDebug. When it's done, you should have quite a verbose output of the exception, stack, registers, and source code. In this dump, the exception is an access violation. The access violation record will direct WinDebug to display the stack and the line of code which has the error. In my example, I have also configured the source path, which allows WinDebug to open the source code to the line which has the exception. This is quite a simple memory dump, as Analyze was able to show the exact exception at the exact line of code. In the code, it's quite obvious that there is an error in the code. The source code for this application will be provided in the links below if you want to try it out for yourself. Let's proceed with a few commands which are useful. To view the exception record in detail, use exr command. This sets the context to the exception record. View the stack using kb. k is the command for viewing the stack. The stack address, parameters and return address is displayed in a tabular form. There are many variations of the k command, for example kp to display function parameters. There are a lot more commands which are used in WinDebug, too many to discuss in a single video. We will cover more in a later tutorial. In closing, to read a memory dump, ensure the symbols are loaded and follow the output of the analyze command. Post your comments below and let me know what you think of the video. Send me a link to any memory dump you would like help with and I might make a video of it. If you like what you see and would like to support the channel, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Until next time, I'm High Voice, signing off.